Imagine a world without the contributions of science or the inspiration of religion. They are truly the two pillars of human civilization. However, many people believe we need to take sides on the debate between science and religion. If both were penned by the same author, why shouldn't they coexist? As Galileo, one of the most controversial figures of this topic, has noted, I do not feel obligated to believe that the same God who has endowed us with senses, reason, and intellect has intended to forego their use. And as Einstein has noted, science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. And I, among every one of the other millions of Baha'is around the world, believe this is one of the questions humanity has needlessly tackled with for too many years. In other words, the answer has been hiding within us for too many years. The core of the Baha'i faith lies in believing in three fundamental principles. The oneness of God, the oneness of humankind, and the oneness of religion. And our modern delusions keep us from the path of God and from a posture of learning. However, this Baha'i concept of unity extends towards the harmony of science and religion. And I hope to bring this spiritual principle to our discussion today. So, it all starts in this quote from Baha'u'llah. Knowledge is as wings to a man's life and a ladder for his ascent. This Baha'i quote illustrates the belief and hope in our ever-advancing civilization. And uh, we can see throughout history how human creativity and uh, innovative uh, and, 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 and science have inspired, influenced, and enhanced our relationship uh, and, and our sense of spirituality. In fact, many cultures have finely woven science and religion in a way that they complement each other beautifully. So this unifying experience of spirituality led my parents to uh, take me on uh, to many holy places uh, around the world um, to uh, so we may experience different cultures and uh, gain inspiration from spirituality. So I, I got to place my wish in the Western Wall. I got to uh, uh, admire the profound simplicity of the Shinto temples in Japan. I was able to uh, admire the majestic Baha'i Continental temples like the one in Chicago. Uh, the Santiago Metropolitan uh, Church um, in Chile, uh, the mystery and positioning of the enormous rocks uh, of, of Stonehenge in Great Britain, the Rio Zen Canon Temple, the Church of Nativity, the beautifully ornate mosques um, that feature captivating geometric designs, and the architectural uh, and the cutting edge architectural styles um, like the Baha'i Continental Temple in Chile. However, modern secular society rarely recognizes religion's positive impacts, as the feeling can be best seen at an individual level. In other words, science should be seen as a vector to reflect God's virtues and promote unity among his peoples. For example, when I recently turned 15, the coming of age for Baha'is, I visited the Baha'i holy sites in Haifa, Israel. Walking through the gardens, I felt a spiritual renewal a, a, a warm, reassuring feeling that just can't be replaced by any prescription or tonic. I felt meaning in the fragrant tips of the roses and couldn't imagine myself in a world without this ethereal beauty. So, I mean, the mere existence of moments like these helps uh, me more fully realize the grandeur of God and uh, something no scientific explanation can substitute or refute but can only support. Science is data-driven, harsh, analytical, and critical, but religion helps us find meaning and value in the world and point the powerful tool of science towards unity and trustworthiness. In this manner, unity is our only hope. When there is, for example, a unity in religion, interfaith groups uh, come together and give fresh produce to low-income uh, families and communities. When there's a unity in science, we're able to pool our specialties together to advance 
uh, further advance society and alleviate its ills. However, when both are unified together, we are able to combine both the expertise of science and the morality of religion to invest in the elimination of war, famine, and disease. In this way, many of the solutions to the world's problems lie in the harmony of science and religion. Even from a duality of education, you know, learning uh, morality as well as technical expertise to channel the learned virtues through is to truly live and find value in life. For example, I would love to pursue the field of medicine in the future, and I am personally attracted by the generosity and altruism of organizations like Doctors Without Borders um, to help, uh, because they help to fully embody the virtues commonly prescribed in sacred writings from religions all over. Uh, for example, when I was volunteering at the Baha'i House of Worship in Chicago this past spring break, I had an opportunity to hear a visiting professor uh, from in, uh, in Fermilab, Dr. Manu Prakash, who has developed uh, a, an instrument that can, j just a piece of paper with a few lenses that can magnify over 400 times. And uh, it's, it, it costs less than a dollar. And this kind of, um, this kind of mix between science and the morality of religion and, 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 and morality uh, can, can, can really do great things. And he is actually, um, uh, science and morality has led him to uh, distribute this instrument uh, that costs less than a dollar to people, Syrian refugees, to people 12 hours away from the nearest road in Africa. Um, and it, it's a very high form of microscopy. And so to educate children, even in the most desolate of conditions, is to lift up the people, as God sees all of us as his children. He wouldn't deny any of us. So why would we deny each other? If he loves all of us, why would we not love each other? After all, isn't the meaning of life to contribute to this ever-advancing civilization and acquire virtues? Again, I ask you, does it have to be this way? The answer has been hiding within us for centuries. We are the generation of hopefuls who finally have the potential to realize this most harmonious vision. Thank you.